Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you how to annotate PDF files and take notes in Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 FE and FE Plus using PDF element. So let's start. First of all, a big thank you to Wondershare PDF element for sponsoring this video. The first feature is about PDF annotation with S Pen. So I will open Wondershare PDF element and here is the interface for this app. I will select this plus icon and then I will open my files. And for example, I will open this PDF file and now I want to annotate this PDF file. So here at bottom we have different tools. I will select comment tool and then it will show you all the necessary tools for PDF annotation. Now I want to write on my PDF file. So I will use this pen tool and then I will start writing on my PDF file using my S Pen. The next thing is you can highlight any text inside your PDF file. So for example, I want to highlight this text. I will use this highlighter tool and then I will start selecting my text. So I will select this text till here and now you can see the same text is highlighted. Same way you can also underline any text. So I will use this underline tool and then I will start selecting my text using my S Pen. So here you can see the same text is now underlined. You can also add different shapes inside your PDF file. So I will select this shape tool and then I can easily add this shape to my PDF file. You can also customize these tools. So for example, I want to change this shape. First of all, I will select this settings icon here. It will show me different shapes I can select any shape from here I can also change the color I can change the line width and I can also change the opacity now I can add this new shape to my PDF file you can also add comments to your PDF file as well so I will select this comment tool and then you can add any comment so I will tap on uh, my page and then here you can add any comment so for example, I will write here this comment and then I will select this done option. And now you can see the comment is added. Once you finish, you can also save it and then you can export your PDF file. The next feature is about text editing. So for example, I want to edit this text. I will single tap on my screen and then I will select this edit tool and then I have to select my text. So I will select this text and then I will select this edit option. It will open this keyboard and now I can start editing my text so I can easily remove any text and I can also add new text in this PDF file. So here you can see I can easily edit this text once you finish with your editing you can select this done option you can also use other text tools so for example you can use this bold tool so here you can see you can use this bold tool you can also use this italic tool and then you can also use this size tool so you can increase or decrease the size for your text inside your pdf file you can also use this font style tool so you can change the font style for your text and you can also change the color for your text so here you can see i can easily change the color you can also change the text alignment as well so here you can see i can easily change the alignment for my text you can also delete any text from your PDF file. So for example, I want to delete this text. I will single tap on my screen. Then I will select this edit tool. Then I will select this text. And here you can see we have these three dots. So I will select these three dots. And here we have this delete option. So I will select it. And now you can see the text is deleted from my PDF file. The next feature is about image editing. So for example, I want to edit this image. First of all, I will tap on my screen and then I will select this edit tool and then I will select this image. Now I can move this image anywhere inside this PDF file. So here you can see I can move it anywhere inside this PDF file and I can also resize this image as well. You can also extract this image to your gallery. I will select this extract image option and then this image will automatically extract it to my gallery. So for example, I will open my gallery and here you can see the same image is available over here and now I can use it. The next thing is you can also replace this image with another image. So here we have this replace image option. 
I will select it and then you can select any other image. So for example, I select this image and then I will select this replace option. And now you can see I have a new image available and now I can also edit it. You can also delete any image. So you just have to select this image and then you have to select these three dots and then you will see this delete option. I will select it and now you can see the same image is deleted. The next feature is about fill and sign. So first of all, you have to select this fill and sign option. Now, for example, I want to add my signatures on this line. I will select this signature option and then I will select create option and then I will use my S Pen to create my signatures and then I will save these signatures and now I want to add these signatures on this line I will single tap on my screen and here you can see my signatures are available now I can resize these signatures and I can also change their position as well I can also change the opacity for these signatures so I will tap on signatures and then I will select properties and then from here I can change the opacity for these signatures as well the next thing is same way you can also add stamps so I will select the stamps option and here it will show you different stamps so for example I will select this stamp and then I will single tap on my screen and here you can see the stamp is available on my PDF file you can also add a new page inside your PDF file. So for example, I want to add a new page. I will select this pages option. It will show you all the pages for my PDF file. So for example, I want to add a new page after this page. I will select this add option and then I will select blank page. So here you can see a new page has been added. Now if I go back and here you can see after this page, I have this new page available. Now I can easily take notes on this page and I can also use other tools as well. The next thing is you can also reorganize pages in your PDF file. So I will select this pages option and then you can select any page. So for example, I will select this page and I want to reorganize it. So I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop anywhere inside my PDF file. The next thing is you can also delete any page. So I want to delete this page. I will select this delete option and here you can see the page has been deleted. The next thing is you can also extract single or multiple pages from your PDF file. So here is the extract option. You can give it any name and then you can extract any page. You can also share different pages from your PDF file. You can use this share option and then you can share it across multiple platforms. The next feature is about chat with PDF. So you can ask about anything from this PDF file using AI. So you have to select this chat with PDF and then you have to write your prompt. So for example, I want to ask about cerebral cortex. So I will write my prompt and then I will send this prompt. So AI will start analyzing my prompt and then it will start generating answers for me. So here you can see AI generate this answer from this PDF file now you can also copy this information so I will copy this information and then you can use it in your notes so I will take out my clipboard I will drag and drop this information to my notes and later if you want you can also edit it you can also translate your PDF file in different languages. So you have to select these three dots and then from here you have to select this option of translate PDF. So you have 13 different languages available. You can select any of these languages to translate your PDF file. You can also convert other file formats to PDF file. So first of all, you have to select this tools option and here you can see you can convert image to PDF, word to PDF, PowerPoint to PDF and Excel to PDF. Same way you can also convert PDF file to other formats. So here you can see you can use this OCR PDF option. You can convert PDF to JPEG, PDF to Word, PowerPoint, Excel and EPUB. You can also use this optimize PDF option. So here you can compress your PDF, you can merge PDF and you can also crop your PDF file. 
the next feature is about templates so you can use different templates in this app so you have to select this templates option and here you can see we have a lot of templates available over here you can fully customize these templates for example i will select this study planner and here you can see we have this amazing study planner template you can customize this template according to your needs you can also categorize your pdf files according to folders and subfolders so here inside local tab it will show you all of your folders to create a new folder you have to select this plus icon and then from here you have to select this folder option and then you have to give it any name so for example i will write here test and then i will select this create option and here you can see a new folder has been created now i will open this folder and inside this folder you can create a subfolder you can select this folder icon and then you can give it any name and then you have to select this create option so i will select this create option and here you can see a new subfolder has been created you can also create a new blank pdf as well so first of all you have to select this plus icon then you have to select blank pdf and then from here you have to select the page style so for example i will select this style and then you can give it any title you can also select the page size so for example i will select a5 you can also select the page number and you can also select the orientation so here we have this landscape and portrait and then you have to select this create option so i will select this create option and here you can see a new blank pdf is available now i can start working on this pdf file you can also backup your pdf files to pdf element cloud so here we have this pdf element cloud and now you can access your files across multiple devices you can also upload your pdf files to google drive so here we have this google drive you can also upload them to onedrive and dropbox as well you can also listen to the content of your pdf files so you have to select these three dots and then you have to scroll down and you will see this option of read aloud so i will select it two short intro to mri physics within the brain most axons are surrounded by so this is how you can listen to the content of your pdf files you can also select this next option and then it will move to the next heading or next paragraph so this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much